Hi everyone! In the glittering world of Hollywood, fame and fortune often come hand in hand with intense rivalries and explosive conflicts. From heated verbal exchanges to publicized social media spats, celebrity feuds have been a perennial source of fascination for fans and media alike. This compilation delves into the annals of showbiz history to bring you 15 of the biggest celebrity feuds of all time, where egos clashed, tempers flared, and alliances crumbled in the spotlight. Explore the iconic battles that unfolded between Hollywood legends, chart-topping musicians, and reality TV stars, as we unravel the dramatic narratives behind these unforgettable showdowns. Witness the highs and lows of friendships turned sour, the rivalries that fueled tabloid headlines, and the confrontations that shaped the entertainment landscape. From legendary figures like Bette Davis and Joan Crawford, to modern pop sensations like Taylor Swift and Katy Perry, these feuds provide a captivating glimpse into the intense world of fame, where every word and action is scrutinized. Join us on a journey through the glamorous yet tumultuous realm of celebrity conflicts, where personalities clash, alliances crumble, and the echoes of these epic battles resonate through the corridors of fame for generations to come. Okay now, here we go. Number 1. Taylor Swift vs. Kanye West The Taylor Swift vs. Kanye West feud, stemming from the 2009 MTV Video Music Awards VMAs, is a highly publicized and enduring conflict in the music and entertainment industry. It began with Kanye West's interruption of Taylor Swift's Best Female Video Acceptance speech, stating that Beyoncé deserved the award. Despite a seemingly public reconciliation in the following years, the feud resurfaced in 2016 with the release of Kanye West's song, Famous, from the album, The Life of Pablo. The controversial lyrics, including references to intimate relations and claiming credit for Taylor Swift's fame, sparked a dispute. Kanye insisted he received approval, a claim disputed by Swift and her team. The feud reached its zenith when Kim Kardashian released Snapchat videos in July 2016, showing a phone call between Kanye and Taylor discussing the famous lyrics. While Taylor appeared to approve in the videos, disputes arose over the conversation's full context and her lack of awareness about certain terms. In response, Taylor Swift took to social media, accusing Kanye West and Kim Kardashian of character assassination. This incident triggered widespread public discussions on topics such as celebrity feuds, privacy, and manipulation in the media. Over the years, the Taylor Swift vs. Kanye West feud has remained a focal point of interest, with both artists occasionally addressing the issue in interviews or through their music, solidifying its status as one of the most notable and enduring conflicts in the entertainment world. Number 2. Kim Cattrall vs. Sarah Jessica Parker The feud between Kim Cattrall and Sarah Jessica Parker, stemming from their roles on Sex and the City, became publicized after the cancellation of plans for a third movie in the franchise. Despite the show's successful run from 1998 to 2004, Reports of tension behind the scenes, particularly between Catrall, Samantha Jones, and Parker, Carrie Bradshaw, emerged. The conflict gained prominence in 2017 when plans for the third movie were halted, with rumors suggesting Catrall's refusal to participate was a key factor. In a February 2018 interview with Piers Morgan, Kim Catrall confirmed her decision not to join the third film, describing her relationship with Parker as toxic and asserting they were never friends. Cattrall criticized Parker's behavior and expressed disappointment, stating, This is really where I take to task the people from Sex and the City, and specifically, Sarah Jessica Parker, in that I think she could have been nicer. Sarah Jessica Parker responded by expressing sadness, emphasizing her love and respect for Cattrall. However, the public exchange of words and revelations about strained relationships among the cast members fueled media speculation about the dynamics within Sex and the City. The feud underscores the challenges that can arise in long-term collaborations, particularly in high-profile projects like television shows and movies, and added another layer to the legacy of Sex and the City. Number 3. Olivia de Havilland vs. Joan Fontaine The enduring rivalry between sisters Olivia de Havilland and Joan Fontaine stands as one of Hollywood's most famous feuds. Originating in childhood, their strained relationship persisted into their adult lives, gaining notable attention during the 1940s when both were established actresses in the golden age of Hollywood. A pinnacle moment occurred in 1942 when Fontaine won the Best Actress Oscar, beating out Olivia, 
sparking increased tension. The sisters' rivalry extended beyond awards and permeated their professional careers and personal lives. Despite both enjoying successful Hollywood careers, public jabs and subtle digs in the media continued to characterize their relationship. In a 1975 interview with People magazine, Olivia de Havilland remarked on their dynamic, playfully stating, I married first, won the Oscar before Joan, and if I die first, she'll undoubtedly be livid because I beat her to it. The feud persisted until Joan Fontaine's death in 2013. Despite the public nature of their disagreements, both sisters were celebrated individually for their contributions to cinema, highlighting a legacy that transcends personal differences. The de Havilland-Fontaine rivalry remains a significant and enduring chapter in Hollywood history, showcasing the complexities of familial relationships amid the glitz and glamour of the entertainment industry. Number four, Sharon Osbourne versus Danny Minogue. The feud between Sharon Osbourne and Danny Minogue began on The X Factor, where Osbourne served as a judge from 2004 to 2007, and Minogue joined in 2007, staying until 2010. The tension escalated during the 2007 season, with publicized negative comments and reports of Osbourne feeling overshadowed and displeased with Minogue's alleged flirting with Lewis Walsh. In her autobiography, Unbreakable, Osbourne labeled Minogue as insignificant and accused her of having an affair with Simon Cowell, another judge on the show. Minogue and Cowell both denied these claims. The feud continued to unfold in the media, marked by public statements from both parties. Osborne left The X Factor after the 2007 season, citing various reasons, including her dissatisfaction with Minogue. The feud's impact persisted over the years, being referenced in interviews and media discussions about The X Factor. Despite the passage of time, the strained relationship between Osborne and Minogue during their time as judges remains a noteworthy and memorable chapter in the show's history. Number 5. Pink vs. Christina Aguilera In the early 2000s, a notable feud emerged between Pink, Alicia Moore, and Christina Aguilera, two pop stars often compared due to their similar career trajectories. Reports of their rivalry began during the recording of Lady Marmalade for the Moulin Rouge soundtrack in 2001, a collaboration that also featured Lil' Kim, Maya, and Missy Elliott. Tension and competitiveness were reported during the recording process, portraying Pink and Aguilera as rivals in the pop music scene. In a 2009 interview on Kyle and Jackie O, Pink clarified that while there was some initial tension during the Lady Marmalade recording, it was not as serious as the media portrayed. Pink mentioned differences but emphasized they had moved past them, even joking about their dynamics. Both artists were described as alphas, and Pink highlighted their youth and newness to the industry at the time. In later years, Pink and Christina Aguilera downplayed the significance of their reported feud. They performed together at the 2016 Billboard Music Awards, signaling a more supportive and collaborative relationship. The narrative surrounding the Pink vs. Christina Aguilera feud, like many celebrity conflicts, may have been exaggerated by the media. The artists involved have since expressed mutual respect, acknowledging positive growth in their respective careers as they matured. Number 6. Cardi B vs. Nicki Minaj The Cardi B, Belkalis Almanzar, and Nicki Minaj, Onika Tanya Mirage feud, is a prominent conflict in hip-hop and rap, characterized by public incidents and social media exchanges. The most infamous event occurred at a New York Fashion Week party in September 2018, where a physical altercation reportedly took place, leading to Cardi B throwing a shoe at Nicki Minaj. The feud was fueled by speculation about the reasons behind the altercation, including rumored comments about Cardi B's parenting skills. Following the Fashion Week incident, both Cardi B and Nicki Minaj addressed the situation on social media, exchanging jabs and accusations that escalated the public feud. Diss tracks such as Cardi B's Press and Nicki Minaj's Megatron further contributed to the intensification of the conflict. The feud extended to interviews and media appearances, where both artists discussed their issues, adding to the ongoing narrative. Despite the public nature of their feud, Cardi B and Nicki Minaj expressed a desire to move past the conflict in interviews. While acknowledging the competitive nature of the music industry, they indicated a willingness to focus on their respective careers. The Met Gala in 2019, where both were in attendance without a physical altercation, added to speculation about their relationship. Number 7. Miley Cyrus vs. Nicki Minaj 
The feud between Miley Cyrus and Nicki Minaj unfolded in 2015, triggered by events surrounding the MTV Video Music Awards VMAs. The controversy originated from Nicki Minaj's disappointment over not receiving a Video of the Year nomination for Anaconda. In a series of tweets, Minaj expressed her frustration, suggesting that her video celebrating curvy bodies wasn't receiving the same recognition as videos featuring slimmer women. Miley Cyrus, hosting the VMAs that year, responded to Minaj's comments in an interview with the New York Times. Cyrus criticized Minaj for making the issue about herself, stating that what she read sounded very characteristic of Nicki Minaj, which, if known, is not too kind. The tension reached a climax during the live broadcast of the VMAs in August 2015, when Nicki Minaj confronted Cyrus on stage after accepting an award for Best Hip Hop Video, creating a memorable and awkward live television moment. Following the incident, both artists addressed the situation in subsequent interviews. Miley Cyrus defended her initial comments, claiming they were taken out of context, while Nicki Minaj clarified that her critique aimed at larger industry issues rather than a personal attack on Cyrus. Over time, the feud appeared to subside, and both artists moved on with their respective careers. While the incident remains a notable chapter in MTV VMA's history, there haven't been prolonged public clashes between Miley Cyrus and Nicki Minaj since then. Number 8. Drake vs. Meek Mill The Drake, Aubrey Drake Graham vs. Meek Mill, Robert Remeek Williams feud, prominent in the mid-2010s, began in July 2015 when Meek Mill accused Drake on Twitter of using a ghostwriter for his verse on R.I.K.O., a collaboration between the two. Meek Mill claimed Drake didn't write his own rhymes, initiating the controversy. In response, Drake released Charged Up, a diss track that addressed the accusations, although some criticized it for lacking the typical aggression of diss tracks. Meek Mill replied with Wanna Know, featuring Quentin Miller, the alleged ghostwriter but the track received mixed reviews, with criticism for its perceived weakness. Drake then escalated the feud with Back to Back, a highly acclaimed diss track that not only addressed Meek Mill's accusations, but also mocked his career. The track garnered widespread praise, intensifying the public's perception of the feud, and social media played a significant role with fans, artists, and brands getting involved. Despite Meek Mill continuing to respond in interviews, social media, and his music, Drake's back-to-back -back became a defining moment in the feud. Over time, the intensity diminished, and both artists expressed a desire to move on. In 2018, they officially ended the beef by performing together on stage during Drake's Aubrey and the Three Migos tour. The reconciliation marked the conclusion of one of the most memorable rap beefs in recent history, with Meek Mill and Drake focusing on their individual careers after putting the feud behind them. Number 9. Bette Davis vs. Joan Crawford The legendary feud between Bette Davis and Joan Crawford, two iconic Hollywood actresses, reached its peak during the filming of Whatever Happened to Baby Jane in 1962. Both stars, prominent during the 1930s and 1940s, found themselves competing for diminishing roles as they aged, intensifying their rivalry. The making of the psychological thriller, where Davis and Crawford played aging actresses with a tumultuous relationship, was marked by widely publicized reports of onset tension and animosity. Their fierce competition extended to the Academy Awards, where both were nominated for Best Actress for their roles in Whatever Happened to Baby Jane. Despite Crawford not being initially nominated, reports suggested she campaigned against Davis. Anne Bancroft won the award that year for The Miracle Worker, further fueling their public rivalry. The feud continued beyond the film's release, with both actresses making public comments about each other's careers, personal lives, and appearances. Despite their mutual dislike, Davis and Crawford were cast together in Hush, Hush, Sweet Charlotte in 1964, though Crawford was eventually replaced. The strained relationship persisted, and insights into their perspectives were provided in Davis's autobiography, The Lonely Life, 1962 and Crawford's memoir, My Way of Life, 1971. Their feud has become a significant part of Hollywood lore, immortalized in various media, including the FX television series Feud, Bet and Joan, 2017. The rivalry remains a symbol of the competitive and challenging nature of the entertainment industry. Number 10, Isaiah Washington vs. The Grey's Anatomy cast. 
The controversy involving Isaiah Washington and the cast of Grey's Anatomy unfolded during the mid-2000s, particularly in the third season of the popular medical drama series. Washington, portraying Dr. Preston Burke, became embroiled in a highly publicized incident with co-stars T.R. Knight, Dr. George O'Malley, and Patrick Dempsey, Dr. Derek Shepard. In October 2006, during an argument with Dempsey, Washington reportedly used a homophobic slur directed at Knight, amid rumors about Knight's sexual orientation. The incident sparked public outrage and discussions about workplace behavior and homophobia. The fallout from the controversy led to Isaiah Washington issuing a public apology and engaging in counseling and awareness-raising efforts. However, tensions persisted among the cast, and the incident took a toll on relationships on set. Eventually, in June 2007, after the conclusion of the third season, it was announced that Washington would not be returning to Grey's Anatomy. The departure was framed as a mutual agreement between Washington and the show's producers, marking a significant moment in the series' history and influencing perceptions of both Washington and the show. In the years following his exit, Washington has publicly expressed regret for his actions and emphasized the importance of learning from mistakes. The controversy continues to be a notable chapter in the history of Grey's Anatomy, highlighting broader issues related to workplace behavior and inclusivity in the entertainment industry. 11. Charlie Sheen vs. Chuck Lorre The feud between Charlie Sheen and Chuck Lorre, the creator and executive producer of Two and a Half Men, became widely known in 2011. Charlie Sheen, who played the lead role of Charlie Harper, faced public scrutiny due to his personal troubles including substance abuse and legal issues. His erratic behavior and controversial statements, such as the catchphrases, winning and tiger blood, led to CBS and Warner Brothers terminating his contract with the show. Sheen directed derogatory remarks at Chuck Lorre, questioning his professional competence and personal life. Charlie Sheen's public statements against Chuck Lorre, filled with personal attacks and accusations, prompted CBS and Warner Brothers to cease production of Two and a Half Men for the remainder of the season. On March 7, 2011, Sheen was officially fired from the show, and the ensuing media coverage focused on his unconventional behavior and catchphrases. Following his departure, Sheen embarked on a live tour, Violent Torpedo of Truth Defeat is Not an Option, which garnered mixed reviews but kept him in the public eye. In the years that followed, Charlie Sheen expressed some regret for his actions, and spoke about seeking treatment and focusing on his health. Chuck Lorre continued his successful career as a television producer. While the feud marked a tumultuous chapter in both Sheen's and Lorre's careers, with intense drama surrounding Sheen's departure from Two and a Half Men, both parties have since moved on to other projects. 12. Katy Perry vs. Taylor Swift The feud between Katy Perry and Taylor Swift, one of the most notable conflicts in the music industry, began in 2013 over backup dancers. Reports suggested that Katy Perry hired some of Taylor Swift's dancers for her tour, leading to tension between the pop stars. In 2014, Taylor Swift released the single Bad Blood from her album 1989, widely believed to be about her strained relationship with Perry. The music video featuring a star-studded cast intensified speculation about the feud. The Super Bowl XLI's halftime performance in 2015 added another layer to the feud when a dancing shark, Left Shark, became a viral sensation. Taylor Swift seemingly referenced it on Twitter, fueling more speculation. Both artists addressed the feud in interviews, with Katy Perry expressing a desire to end the conflict on carpool karaoke in 2017, and Taylor Swift suggesting the disagreement was rooted in professional issues. In 2017, Katy Perry released Swish Swish, interpreted as a response to Swift's bad blood, marking a continuation of the public clash. However, the turning point came in 2018 when Perry sent Swift an olive branch as a symbolic gesture of peace. They shared the reconciliation on social media, officially ending their public feud. This reconciliation was further solidified in 2019 when Perry appeared in Swift's You Need to Calm Down music video, advocating support for the LGBTQ community. Since then, both artists have publicly supported each other, and the feud is considered a thing of the past, met with positivity from fans and the media. 13. Britney Spears vs. Christina Aguilera The rivalry between Britney Spears and Christina Aguilera originated in the late 1990s as both pop stars rose to fame simultaneously, initially as Mouseketeers on The Mickey Mouse Club. 
This shared background fueled comparisons between them as they transitioned into pop sensations. In 1998, Britney Spears' debut single, Baby One More Time, and Christina Aguilera's Genie in a Bottle, were released around the same time, intensifying media framing of the two as competitors in the pop music scene. Media outlets consistently compared Britney and Christina, emphasizing differences in their images, styles, and personalities, contributing to the perceived rivalry. The MTV Video Music Awards in 2003 added a provocative twist when Britney Spears and Christina Aguilera shared a kiss with Madonna during their performance, further fueling the narrative of competition. Over the years, as their careers took different paths with Britney leaning towards pop and dance, while Christina explored various genres, their evolving styles contributed to the distinct artistic paths narrative. Both artists addressed the rivalry in interviews, sometimes downplaying the notion of competition and highlighting mutual respect. However, media coverage often sensationalized perceived tensions. As they matured and faced personal and professional challenges, the narrative of their rivalry gradually faded. Recent years have seen Britney Spears' legal struggles and Christina Aguilera's focus on music and coaching on The Voice, shifting public attention away from any perceived feud. While moments of competition occurred, Britney Spears and Christina Aguilera have expressed mutual respect, and the rivalry, largely fueled by media and fan speculation, is considered a product of the late 1990s and early 2000s pop culture landscape. 14. Jay-Z vs. Nas The feud between Jay-Z, Sean Carter, and Nas, Nasir Jones, stands as one of hip-hop's most iconic and significant rivalries, unfolding during the late 1990s and early 2000s through diss tracks, interviews, and public statements. The tension initially simmered with subtle disses in their lyrics, with Nas taking shots at Jay-Z in verbal intercourse in 1995, and Jay-Z responding with subliminal disses in tracks like Rap Game, Crack Game. The feud reached a turning point in 2001 when Jay-Z released the diss track Takeover from The Blueprint, prompting Nas's powerful response Ether, widely considered one of the greatest diss tracks in hip-hop history. The feud continued with additional diss tracks from both artists, further intensifying the rivalry and even leading to disputes between their affiliated record labels, Rockefeller Records, Jay-Z, and Def Jam Recordings, NS. The official end of the feud came in 2005, when Jay-Z and Nas publicly reconciled during a radio interview, expressing mutual respect and a shared desire to move beyond the beef. This reconciliation was solidified with their collaboration on Black Republican from Nas's album Hip Hop Is Dead in 2006. Following their reconciliation, Jay-Z and Nas not only put the feud behind them, but collaborated on multiple occasions. They worked together on various songs, such as Success from Jay-Z's American Gangster, 2007, and BBC from Jay-Z's Magna Carta Holy Grail, 2013. The feud, particularly the Takeover vs. Ether exchange, remains legendary in hip-hop history, and their eventual unity serves as a symbol of maturity and solidarity within the hip-hop community. 15. Paris Hilton vs. Nicole Richie Paris Hilton and Nicole Richie, originally inseparable best friends, gained widespread recognition for their on-and-off friendship and intermittent feuds, particularly during the mid-2000s. Their dynamic was prominently featured in the reality TV series The Simple Life, which aired from 2003 to 2007. The show's success was attributed in part to the chemistry and contrasting personalities of Hilton and Richie, as they navigated various ordinary jobs and lifestyles. During the filming of the third season of The Simple Life in 2005, reports surfaced about tension and a falling out between Paris Hilton and Nicole Richie. The exact reasons for the fallout were not explicitly detailed, leading to widespread speculation ranging from personal differences to professional conflicts. Media coverage of the hilton Richie feud was extensive, with tabloids and entertainment news outlets frequently reporting on the status of their friendship and circulating rumors about the reasons behind their falling out. In the fourth season of The Simple Life, Paris Hilton and Nicole Richie went their separate ways, each paired with new friends on the show. Paris was partnered with Kimberly Stewart, while Nicole was accompanied by her then-fiancé Adam Goldstein, DJ Am. The new pairs introduced a different dynamic from the original hilton Richie duo. However, in 2006, Hilton and Richie reportedly reconciled and mended their friendship, 
making joint appearances and expressing their desire to move past previous conflicts. The fifth and final season of The Simple Life marked their return as a duo, providing closure to the series with the original dynamic.